Welcome to our course on interest rate swaps and derivatives. My name is Josh and in this unit, we will be discussing the basics of interest rate swaps and how they work. First, let's start with the definition of an interest rate swap. An interest rate swap is a financial contract between two parties in which they agree to exchange cash flows based on a set of predetermined interest rates. In other words, one party agrees to pay a fixed rate of interest, while the other party agrees to pay a floating rate of interest. So, why would someone want to enter into an interest rate swap? One common reason is to manage interest rate risk. For example, let's say a company has issued bonds with a fixed rate of interest, but they are worried that interest rates will rise in the future. By entering into an interest rate swap, they can effectively swap their fixed rate for a floating rate, thus reducing their risk. Another common use of interest rate swaps is for interest rate arbitrage. This is when one party takes advantage of a difference in interest rates between two markets. For example, a bank might enter into an interest rate swap in order to receive a higher rate of interest in one market, while paying a lower rate of interest in another market. Now that you have a general understanding of what an interest rate swap is and why they are used, in the next unit, We'll delve into the different types of interest rate swaps, including plain vanilla swaps and basis swaps. Before we move on, let's quickly review what we've learned. Asterisk interest rate swaps are financial contracts between two parties where they agree to exchange cash flows based on a set of predetermined interest rates. Asterisk they are commonly used to manage interest rate risk and for interest rate arbitrage. That's it for this unit. In the next one, we will be discussing the different types of interest rate swaps.